A cyclist was sent flying into the air after colliding with a school bus. And since the start of the school year, we've been reporting on crashes involving CCSD bus drivers. A News Now Education reporter Joshua Pagero takes a look at this incident. A bicyclist's morning ride ends with being rushed to the ER. Video I obtained shows a school bus on the morning of September 15th traveling at Fort Apache near Sky Canyon Park Drive to pick up kids when it collided with a bicyclist. Uh. Ejecting the man. This Metro Police report shows that the bicyclist was traveling along this bike lane heading south on Fort Apache when he collided with the school bus that was turning onto this intersection. The on-scene officer says in his report that he wasn't able to determine who was at fault for that collision. We showed the video to Vina Chekrev, who lives near the scene of the crash and was out riding her bike Friday afternoon. Oh my God, that was so wrong to turn that corner. Oh my gosh. She says on Fort Apache, she often sees cars speeding and not stopping at the stop sign. I'm definitely going to put my helmet on let, next time I leave <laughs> the house. But yeah, that is concerning because we have bike lanes and I live. I, one thing I liked about this area was the bike lanes are nice and wide. This hasn't been the first crash involving CCSD school buses this year. A bus traveling north on Eastern near Bonanza was hit by a pickup truck quickly changing lanes. The crash sent six students and two adults to the hospital with minor injuries. In August, a school bus ran over a large dog in a gated community near Wallapai and Sunset. I obtained data from CCSD that shows over the past two school years there were 1,138 crashes. Reporting near Fort Apache and Sky Canyon Park Drive, Joshua Peguero, 8 News Now. The bicyclist involved in that crash has retained an attorney. In a statement, CCSD tells us CCSD bus drivers are provided with continued professional development throughout the year as part of the district's commitment to providing safe transportation to and from our schools for approximately 125,000 students each day.